This is Jim with A1 Repairs. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. The point of the following video is to provide you an up close view of the products that we sell as if you were heading into our local hometown dealership to purchase one. With everybody shopping online, this is our attempt to bring you closer to the product rather than just viewing words on a web page. Please be sure to email or call with any questions that you may have and also like us on Facebook for the latest product and industry updates. Thanks and enjoy the video. Thanks for tuning in to the A01 Repairs YouTube channel. Uh, today we got the 440 Husqvarna chainsaw. Now this particular chainsaw comes in, in two different models. You can get the standard 440 and you can get the 440E. Now I'm going to, both of these chainsaws are, are identical as far as the engines that they have on them. We're going to go over some quick stats before I tell you what the difference is between the two. This is uh, putting 40.9 cc's for the engine size and this is cranking out 2.4 horsepower. Uh, 9,000 RPM for the chain speed and you can run anywhere from about a 16 to an 18 inch bar on it. Um, 18 inch is pretty much max on this one. Dry weight, no bar, no chain, no gas, no oil. This is coming in about 9.78 pounds. So this runs a little bit smaller chain, 0.325. Uh, it's a little bit narrower, designed to increase the RPM chain speed. Uh, I like to call this a little bit more of a competition chain uh, because it's, it's much faster when you go to cut with it. So now the 440 chainsaw and the 440E, the only difference between the two is the 440E has what they call a toolish chain tensioner on it. Um, this is a really cool design, uh, especially if you know, you're somebody that actually climbs up into a tree and does a lot of tree climbing or something or up in a bucket truck. Now, when you want to uh, tighten or loosen the chain tension or remove the, uh, the actual clutch cover here, uh, you lift this little lever, then you spin in the backwards direction, and this is actually acting as your bar nut, which is no different than what you're looking at right there, but it's in a toolless version. And then when you want to adjust for how tight or loose the chain is, you're going to use this little turn dial right here towards positive or negative. So the only difference between the 440E is you're going to have the toolless chain tension, the 440 is going to have your standard clutch cover on it. Uh, as far as that, the stats are pretty much, and the features are basically the same. We're going to remove the side cover here. This has got an externally mounted clutch on it. Helps keep the saw nice and balanced. Um, there's also options for internal clutches. It's not available on this one, but other chainsaw. So the clutch on the inside makes it a little bit easier to uh, put, the, uh, put the chain on. Once, once you get that nice and tight and snug and after, well, once you get that put on there just snug, you go ahead and adjust your positive negative on the, uh, the toolless chain tensioner here so you get your chain tension to where you want it. Then you actually crank that down pretty tight, you flip it over, and it locks in tight for you. Uh, really unique feature if it's something that you're interested in. So uh, the 440 has an automatic driven oiler, but it is not an adjustable one. So it's automatically driven when you actually uh, pull the trigger on the chainsaw. We're going to get into some starting features here. This has got a one-stop uh, choke, run, and uh, kill switch. Press down and hold. That'll be the kill position for you. That immediately returns right back to the run position. Pull out and up. That'll put it on choke for you. Back to the middle of the run position. Uh, there is a purge primer for easy starting on this one. So you hit the purge primer to push all the air bubbles out of the fuel hoses. Uh, See-through gas indicator gauge in the back right there. Gas caps have nice tethers on them. Hold the gas caps. If you want to run it dry, drain the fuel out, they pop out pretty easy. And they snap right back in. Alright, uh, Husqvarna runs a lot of oscillation springs on their chainsaws. You see the springs right there. What's nice about that is uh, it isolates all the vibration you get from the engine from the operator handle. I'll hold the handle stationary here and I'm going to push on the chainsaw and see how the engine moves. Uh, really goes a long way from, from reducing all the vibration you get in the hands and your fuzzy feeling and then all the fatigue you get going up into your arms. Uh, having a good vibration dampening system is very important on a chainsaw. Uh, they got a nice uh, felling mark here or cutting line so you can uh, line up your cuts you know uh, when you're out in the trees or 
you know, up against different objects or what angles you want to be cutting at. Now, uh, this guy's got a, uh, an easy uh, air filter snap cover on it. Take your chainsaw tool here, reach in, and you pop these three little caps off. Push the chain brake forward. Go ahead and wiggle that, and it pops off for you. I got a quick release air filter snap on the back. Pull this out, and it's a two piece filter, so it's pretty easily cleanable. This is a nylon filter from Husqvarna. There's many different uh, filter options that are available. Just contact us if you're interested in other ones. You get into felt filters and that. Put that back together. Go ahead and melt that back on. I like to call this the uh, semi-pro chassis from Husqvarna. It's just one grade above the uh, the homeowner or the consumer chainsaw. But it's really got a bunch of nice features, you know, if you can afford that. And keep in mind the the 440 or the 440 e 440e. Uh, the only difference is the chain toucher that you're going to have on it. Uh, as far as that, otherwise everything else we showed you here, features wise, between the 440 and the 440e from Husqvarna are going to be identical for you. So uh, thanks for tuning in to the A1 Repairs YouTube channel on the uh, 440 and the 440E Husqvarna Chainsaw.